Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I'm using this kit from Paper Crown Planner. She is actually a printable shop. I think I heard somebody mention that she does also have like a physical shop where she makes, you know, actual stickers, not just ones that you can make by yourself. But yeah, I thought that's really awesome that she gives you both options. If you want to make your own stickers and have it instantly, that's great. And you can save some money that way. Or if you don't have that option, if you don't have a printer or a cutter or whatever else you need, uh, then she has the option where you can buy them. So that's really great. So make sure to, guy, uh, to check her out, guys. I've never shopped from her physical shop and I've actually never even seen it, but um, I just heard somebody mention it. So I thought I would relay that information to you guys. But I think this kit is so cute and so perfect for fall. I'm still filming in October. I was actually just working on my like posting schedule last night and um, I think I did this last year as well where I posted like a bunch of videos like every single day in December. Uh, it's not every day in December. I think I did like a countdown to Christmas kind of thing and I really want to do the same thing this year and I was working on my schedule to see like oh like if I plan to catch up by that point like when would I need to post everything else. And yeah, I realized that I can't get back to my PP week spreads until December. But in December, for the weeks of December, I hope this makes sense, I will be doing those again. So if you guys missed those plan with me's, they will be back. But for the next like month and a bit in my planner, not in real life. Oh my God, this is so confusing. <laughs> for the next like six spreads that you guys see or however many it is, I just estimated six. Um, but all of those will be just Aaron Condren spreads just so I can give myself a little bit of help and catch up. But yeah, I'm really excited. I hope I can get all the videos filmed uh, like for December. I think I'm starting it on the... 13th where I post every day until Christmas including Christmas so yeah I like wrote down every video that I want to do it's mostly plan with me's both Erin Condren and PP Weeks but I do also want to do some flip throughs because I actually had a few of you um, request that I think somebody left like a comment as well in one of my uh, videos and I usually do them every year so that takes up an extra few videos so it'll be a fun time of lots of videos if you guys enjoy my videos that's awesome and if you don't then you'll be seeing a lot of me anyways <laughs> but okay let's get into the spread I started off by putting the bottom washi down I really liked this simple like wood pattern with the florals and then I also do like using her scalloped washi on top of it because it actually takes up the entire room of the EC down there and you can't see any of my whiteout. And y'all know how I feel about whiteout showing in my spreads. It happens in this planner for sure and sometimes in my other planner as well. But I'm not a huge fan. It just looks yellow. I won't go into it again because I feel like I always talk about it. But yes, so I put those two down and then I went ahead and put my glitter headers along the top. And now I'm just scattering my full boxes through. If you guys are seeing me use this like ruler method um, or like if you see my ruler down there, uh, I had somebody comment and she said that in her video she showed that you can use like the new Erin Condren ruler to help you guide like where you put your glitter headers because it's actually the same height as the full boxes, which is so awesome. So everybody was like upset about the new ruler and how it wasn't like the width of the full boxes anymore but now it's the height of the full boxes so it's actually probably even more helpful um well for this kind of planning I think it's more helpful so yeah I've been doing that to help me line my glitter headers up only along the bottom because uh the other like the middle one I actually have to like still layer it a little bit like on top of some full boxes so I can't really use it there because it wouldn't be completely accurate because they're because my glitter headers go a little lower than the full boxes I hope that makes sense but Yes, so I use it along the bottom and in the middle, I kind of just eyeball it and hope <laughs> that they're in line. I feel like a lot of the time they probably don't end up being perfectly in line, but as long as it's not too noticeable, that's fine. I also don't know if they are ever like the same on the like on the both sides of the Erin Condren, but whatever. It's fine. We'll we'll pretend. We'll pretend they are. 
And then once I finished putting all the full boxes down and the glitter headers, the bottom washi, I went ahead and grabbed these glitter header overlays that I always love using. I just, I always mention this as well, but I think glitter header overlays are like awesome at like spreading your foil out all throughout your spread. I think it just makes the all like the foil look super cohesive and like it's everywhere. So I do really like using those and these are just ones that I make for myself. <laughs> and then once I finished putting those down, I'm using the date dots that actually came in the kit and I'm just using those. I think the date covers in this kit are super cute and I liked the contrast between the date dots that are like this really bright yellow color and like the more muted blue color. So I wanted to use those instead of using like some foiled ones that are from my collection. And then, you know, just putting those down a little faster would be great, but it is what it is. I can't remember if I sped this up faster than normal. I don't know, because I think in some of my plan with me's, I've been trying to do like the base slightly faster than when I do um, like the day by day, which I feel like helps because other it's the same thing. So I feel like I, I still like watching it when people do it, but maybe a little bit faster doesn't hurt. And then, so that's what I did. I think, I think it's faster. And then don't worry, it'll slow down when, when I'm actually talking about all the plans and stuff. But into my sidebar, I used these like bow dividers from the kit instead of headers because I didn't see any like word headers in this kit. I think she had the option when you're printing it to either do like glitter headers or word headers. And I chose glitter because that's what I like to use. But yeah, I just used these little bows. Um... So I put that, I put one of them along the top and then I put a label from the kit with like a bow paper clip that was to mark down what week of school I'm in. And then underneath that, I used one of the habit trackers from the kit just to track studying track. I say in quotations because haven't really been using my habit trackers at all. I just, they're just there. <laughs> I use them as a reminder or just to take up space. Who even knows at this point, but Underneath that, I put another one of the bow dividers and a heart checklist, not an ombre one, just a heart checklist, <laughs> and then another bow divider, and then I used a weekly box to track down um, what I was posting on Instagram that day, and then I capped that off with a little bit of washi at the bottom since there was some room left there. I haven't been perfect at Instagram, I know, but I'm trying. I want to catch up there as well because I'm still posting spreads from like October and it's dang December. I've never been this behind on like my Instagram posts. I often get behind on like YouTube and stuff because that takes way longer, but I don't think I've ever been this behind on Instagram. So I'm really trying. <laughs> and like normally I post like two separate pictures, like one that's first half of the week and then one that's second, but I started just putting them all into one and doing like a photo where you can like flip through it just so that I can help myself a little bit. But we'll see. One day, guys, one day I'll be all caught up. Everything will be right in the world once again. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, so on to Monday. I started the week off by putting down a coffee sticker. Um, I've been using my leftovers sticker book, and so I can't really remember where that is from. I know I got it at like the planner party that I went to in May, but I, I can't remember whose shop that was from, so I'm sorry about that. But that coffee cup was just to mark down that it was Coffee Monday. I add up at, at there we go. I uh, added like a Coffee Monday script that's from my shop. And then underneath it, I used a quarter box from the kit as well as an icon that's like a little shoe. I was just like running a bunch of errands for like clinical stuff that we have to do in school. So I had to go get like a specific ID badge. And what else did I have to do? I had to like ask some questions, get some paperwork, things like that. So I was just doing that and... um. That's what I marked there. And then I wrote down that my brother was moving to New York this day. So that's pretty exciting or was pretty exciting. And I used one of the new icons that are in my shop. I released these on Black Friday. So this weekend. Oh, I should also mention today this video is going up. So if you guys are interested, I am offering 30% off of my entire shop. All the new, new stuff included. There's also some really awesome deals where you can get like really discounted um, like random kit, like pull kits. So they're perfect quality. They were just like overstock that I had that just like wasn't in season anymore and I had some left over. So I just collect those throughout the year and then sell them to you guys at a really great price. So I think like you can get like a full kit for like $10 Canadian, which is awesome. 
but yes, just wanted to throw that out there. I believe the code is just Black Friday. So do that if you're interested. But yes, that, the bow icon collection was just one of the things that I released. So that's why I mentioned that. But anyways, moving on, I used a coffee cup sticker from the kit as well as a Starbucks run script from my shop to mark down going to Starbucks. <laughs> and then once I got home, I was so tired. So I took a nap this day and I used a little sleeping Ava from my shop. And then in the evening, Yanni came over. So I used a label from the kit as well as the house icon from the kit as well. And then Tuesday, the first thing I marked down was that it was payday. So I used a washi strip from the kit as well as a payday foiled script from my shop. And then I used a cooking Ava to mark down that I was just doing some cooking with my mom. I also worked on orders this day. So I used another one of the bow icons. I've just been so excited about them. So I want to use them like everywhere. And yeah, be cute. And then uh, underneath that, I used a half box with another Ava to mark down that I was doing a ton of studying. I'm assuming I had some midterms coming up. I don't know why I would have been studying so much otherwise. Oh, yes, I can see. Thursday, I had a midterm. <laughs> I was like, damn, why am I studying so much? I see so many study stickers. What a good student. Kidding. No, I am. I am a good student. I won't talk myself down like that. <laughs> but anyways, in the evening, I placed an Amazon order. So I layered some deco from the kit um, with this like shopping cart icon that was also from the kit. And then Wednesday, I pretty much did a ton of studying all day. And I thought this turned out so cute the way I ended up marking it. She has like these really unique and cute like sticky note stickers that are pretty big. And so they take up a lot of room, but I think they end up looking amazing, especially with like white out, white out, white space planning where, I don't know. I just, I really like it. So I used the sticky note and I added some floral deco on top of it to, I don't know, just accent it a little bit. And I wrote that I was doing some studying. And then I also had to design some freebies. I believe these were like my Black Friday freebies that I was designing. Look how long ago that was. <laughs> but I used a like computer desktop sticker from the kit. And then I also used a little foiled bow. You can't really see it right now, but when you wiggle, you can see it. <laughs> Um, but I put that like in the center there. And then in the evening, Yanni came over and we did some more studying, but we studied together. And I just grabbed this really adorable sticker that was actually on the deco sheet. And it's just like, it's like a little desk and it has some books and like a lamp. There's also a little birdie on it. Definitely no birdies when I was studying, but sure. <laughs> I just, I thought that ended up looking good. And then on Thursday, this was the day of my midterm. So at the top of the day, you'll see me later put down that, um, that I had that midterm. I used a third box from the kit for that. And then I also used like an icon from the kit that was just like all these like papers and I don't know, pens and cute stuff like that, you know, things that are appropriate for midterms. And then the sticker I'm putting down now is a little quarter box with a bow on top of it. And that was to mark down that I had a plan with me go live. And then while I was like looking through the kit to see what else there was, I was like seeing all these stickers and I was like, oh my God, I don't want to forget to use any of these. So I like was skipping around through the days so that I don't forget. And you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's a little out of order, but it's fine. I'm also out of frame, but we'll survive. I pretty much was just putting the weekend banner at the top there and I layered some deco behind it. And then on Saturday evening, like the whole half of the day, I marked down that I went to Regina's birthday party this day and I thought that was such a cute way to mark it. I loved it. And then on Sunday, I used like the birthday sticker also from the kit um, to mark down that it was her actual birthday on Sunday. And then back to Thursday, you saw me put down the third box and the like notebook sticker like I mentioned. And in the evening, I actually went for dinner with some of my friends from like school. So I wanted to mark that down. I guess it was like lunch slash dinner. I think we just wanted to, you know, celebrate being done with this midterm. <laughs> um, so that, yeah, so I layered some deco with another icon from the kit that was like the meal icon. I thought that was really cute. And then at the bottom of the day, I just used some deco from the kit as well to take up a little bit more room. And then on to Friday, I wrote down that I was doing a ton of designing. I used this really cute like washi sticker or like half box sticker with a washi strip holding it up <laughs> at the top of the day. And then at the bottom of the day, I used a movie marquee that's from my leftovers book, which I've been loving. 
um, I'm so late to the game, but like I can't get it in Canada on Amazon. So I finally was able to get it when my parents were in the States. So that was great. And I just wrote down that Yanni and I went to go get a went to go get went to go watch the Joker, uh, which was so good. If you haven't seen it yet, I really, really liked it. I heard some people say that they weren't a huge fan, like it was too much or too dramatic. Like, yeah, it was a lot, but I still thought it was really great. And um, the couple sticker is just an Ava from my shop. And then some of the other things that I marked throughout the day, I layered a um, camera sticker from my shop on top of this really cute little like arrow or flag sticker from the kit to mark down that I was doing some filming. And then I also, I think, either placed an order. I think I placed the order this day. Yes. Um, from Rose and Tea Shop. So I just used a little bow from the kit to mark that down. And then Saturday, I had some new releases go up. So I used uh, like a foiled Etsy icon from my shop. I also painted my nails, so I used a nail polish sticker from the kit. And then, like I said, I just had that, like, big sticker for Regina's birthday party. I also did actually work this day. Like, I went to Regina's birthday, like, right after work. And, yeah, I only realized that, like, once I finished filming, I was like, oh, I guess I omitted the fact that I had work, but that's fine. We'll survive. <laughs> And then, yeah, so I already had the birthday sticker on Sunday for Regina's birthday, but this day I actually went my, with my mom downtown. There was this really cool, like, home show. There were, like, a bunch of vendors and stuff, so I just put a half box on its side, and I put some, like, deco all around it. I think this turned out really, really cute as well. I really like it. I love when kids have a lot of deco that I can, like, incorporate into the spread, so... I thought that turned out cute. We did also go to Starbucks afterwards and yeah, but I didn't have room to mark that in and I just really wanted like the home show to like, you know, be be the the main the main thing for that day. But I think that was it for this week. Am I zooming out? There we go. That's how you know the wiggle is about to come. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all your support, your comments. Thank you if you shop my sale. And I will see you guys in my next plan with me. Bye.